Hello and welcome everyone to part 2 of our let's play on Starfield. We just got done in talking to Sarah and exploring the whole entire lodge, including the basement, finding a master lock with the, I'm hoping, a really good suit because you need a master lock pick and go to get it. So we're going to continue on and let's go talk to Sarah. Something you need? So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually, but a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. Let's we'll need go. to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Cool, so I can do whatever I want. I trust you're still satisfied with your choice to join Constellation, Noel. Absolutely, Sarah. I've never regretted the decision. They've been a you never expected to end up involved in something like this. Just wanted to make sure you didn't regret it. It's not always easy, but I just remind myself that if it weren't for you, the constellation, I'd have no idea that any of this was going on. I know everyone's excited by the other. So after we place the third artifact down on the pedestal with the other two pieces of the pieces of artifacts, they all lifted up and they made a it look like a circle. I wonder what they do. Like after we find all these artifacts, pieces of the artifacts, what is this artifact going to do? What is so special about it? I expected a little bit more um, damage from falling than that. That's pretty cool, you're gonna take a lot of damage. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your friend? Hopefully Constellation's newest member. Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Oh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with a vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Maybe later. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. 
helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. The, the soul system, you said it has Mars in it. Is that the system with alternate? You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. I wonder why. Soul system is a lot of planets. But a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey! Nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. It sounds like the UC is one of the factions you can join. I will look into joining the faction later Max. on. If you have an As of right now, I'm just gonna inside. stick to Constellation. Doesn't feel like I used the elevator. Oh, oh, that, that's at the um, the train station now. now. Just gonna tell me it's ship, yeah. There's no point in walking all the way to the ship if you can just fast travel right from the your map in your inventory. A scan for contraband every planet I go to. Let's land on Sidonia. Okay, already. Mars, the, the red tent for the atmosphere of the Mars is amazingly looking. Let's visit some Martians. I would explain the brownouts. Grab drive. So, what's this going to run? If there are no other surprises, mid five figures. Five figures? The boost five? pack the constellation gave me. I can five. boost jump. Do it. I'll be at the bar. Oh, that's awesome. Find me when it's done. Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. So, if we have a Mars civilization living underground that is so cool is a good place to connect with others or fulfill any spiritual needs you may have. 
What do you mean there's no water? Found a clutch of heat leeches. Uh, that was without instant. What are the actually updates? We were told there were jobs. here for not everyone needs to come to me with their problems i ain't a psychiatrist he ain't been around went off on patrol hasn't been back in since we're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea you know his patrol route i oh, believe me i've heard it after about round three or four was all he would talk about He's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? You can use your companions to talk to. For real, I'd, I'd be thinking he's lying. No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You calling me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we Damn, want. Damn, say I was telling him. I don't see why I should have to pay this tab off. I don't get the tab. I don't need to come here and buy all the booze. Why'd you even decide I was selling booze and uh, not letting him pay? Agreed on a discount, right? Let me confirm the amount. Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love, <laughs> singing songs, all that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Oh, fine. We'll make do. Time to go to Venus. It's hard not to work when your spouse... Like, for, for real though, why do bars keep tabs up? Like, they know the customers are never gonna ever pay that tab up. Especially when it racks up to that high. I mean, that's 2,000 credits. It's pretty obvious after the 500, maybe even the 800 mark credit. He's clearly not planning on paying it. So, why do you keep letting them rack that bill up? I just don't get it. It's good to be back on board. They're going to devour our souls. Why does the Zealots have it? No idea. They appear and attack people seemingly at random. House Varun technically has diplomatic ties to the other factions, but the Zealots are outside of their control. Or so they say. Alrighty then. You just let them do whatever they want. No, no ship other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. All right, we're gonna go for sneaky. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that 
satellite and jump away. I'm gonna do this stuff slowly. Mainly because I do not want myself being devoured by a bunch of zealots. Okay, power down all systems for one or two bars in the engine. Okay, I sure do hope they don't spot me because I ain't got no shields and I ain't got no weapons at all to fight back or defend myself. If they spot me, it is game over. No doubts about that. And as long as we don't get close to them, we should be fine. always wins the race in the long run. What's going on here? Uh, I'm confused as to what just happened. Why am I at Saturn? I was just at Venus. It's like you just teleported me to Venus instead of letting me dock on the, on the space station. I'm confused. What just happened? Let's hope it doesn't teleport me to Saturn again. The cell solar system is the Milky Way, so the world is in the solar system, right? So, why was Earth abandoned? I'm gonna go explore Earth sooner or later. Just to see what what's on the planet now. And the, it can be our first planet. We actually got going to explore the whole entire planet of its entirety and even scan it so we can get that survey data thing so we can sell it for some credits. Their 
running in forever. What happened to the wolf? Oh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started, managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. Very interesting. I wonder what structures we can still find. Like the Great Pyramids in Keep your ancient. weapons ready. Those Never pyramids still going to be around there. here in Starfield? You would think they would be because they've been around for ages. They just never fall apart. That would be really cool if we could go there, find uh, some pyramids or maybe even some other really tall ancient structures as well. That would be really cool just to explore. We have docked on the space station. Hmm. It would appear we have missed the party. Looks like he just got his brain splattered all over the wall. Two steps in and we're already looking at a corpse. Okay, it's not Vanguard not Well, let's see if we're now drinking whiskey. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with space crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They were less organized than the Cosmo. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. So we have the space pirates, and then we have the unorganized space pirates. The space pirates or the Crimson Fleet. Or just the uh, unorganized space pirates known as the space hooks. Gotta go there. Some place fits. That one goes inside. That one goes on that side. So, each lockpick, you don't have to use all the available, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, um, I guess the uh, selections of them, you don't gotta use all of them, you just have to use as many as you need to get it completed. I really love the lockpicking in this game, it really adds a special unique way of doing it. Is it worth a good bit? Free credits. 
and a Corbin Eagle. Is that supposed to be the Desert Eagle? Uh, let's favorite these weapons. It's got seven bullets in the magazine, just like this vehicle does. I'm gonna assume this is the Starfield's variant of this vehicle. Don't leave any of that behind. Please let there be some enemies on this base station so I can blow their heads off with this vehicle. We have officially entered the space station. I wonder if we're alone, like we just completely missed the party altogether. It's pretty fried. Yes, they're still here. Terminated. This urban eagle is awesome. One shot, hit shot, the two shot, body shot. This gives me destiny vibes using the hand. One of all lasted. Come on. Let's get the coach man in. This over shotgun is so powerful, it's causing the game to lag. I shoot it. <laughs> the coach man is so OP. Soldier rescue key. What does this open up? I wonder what that key opens. Oh, 
bunch of their soul stars. Extend magazine, rap file, and frenzy. Small chance of frenzy, uh, hostile. That's what the social rescue key opens up. And the blue label jumps. Who turned the lights out? Nothing too spectacular. Have anything valuable? Nicely done. How do those explode? Yes, they do. Poisonous gas.
just came up and knifed me. Where did you come from? Target. What a troll. How was I even fail? I'm only level 3. This is 4 times my level. Spaceship, and uh, he's not here either. We're playing a game of duck, duck, geese, duck, duck, goose. Everywhere we go, he's never around. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I fetched up my ship, and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. Sounds like he is trying to start a war with these spacers. It's almost dare in the spaces to come after him. Yeah, he does not like them. That is probably not a good idea to do. One man divorces a whole army of space pirates. That's not going to end very well. I wonder if we'll find him dead. Less than what I have now, but it randomly deals any element and it's radioactive. Sounds like it could be better than what I have 30,700 credits. I'll just take it. Ready to depart. I go all the way to Neptune. He's enticing the, the space pirates, but he's gonna go all the way to the very outer ring of the solar system with like no backup whatsoever. I'm starting to think he's not very smart. Get ready. I guess it's 
Not a thing. Exactly, do I target the engines and only the engines? Oh yeah, I don't want to destroy the ship, but if I attack you anymore, it's it's gone. Ships. This is the coolest game ever. This game just keeps getting better and better. We just docked a ship and we're gonna hijack the ship now. I do have one question. How did uh, the space was get control over this ship? Other than our space was there. Click kicks. How do you click kicks? Get you know, on a ship. The thing still on the ship, able to communicate. I got to meet whoever you two are. Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Breaching hostile ship, saving lives. Now I know that kind of talk. You two Marines? Constellation, actually. What? Seriously? Man, I've heard stories, but I had no idea you all were this dangerous. We've heard stories, too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? What? You have it on the... He's using it as a photo ornament. How did it... It didn't get blown off in those. 
spaceship battle, dude. It's not just floating around space somewhere, is it? We've been out on patrol for a long time. Oh, that. Yeah, I mean, it's been a mess lately. Spacers, maroon zealots, plus ecliptic tracking me down. We ran into a few members of Ecliptic at the Nova Galactic Star Yard. I'm guessing they were after you. Ah, damn. That's probably how they found me. I knew taunting the spacers to meet me at Neptune was a long shot. Making rookie mistakes. I've been chasing shadows around the solar system for years. And every time I go back to Mars... Sidonia is waiting for you. Run down. Forgotten. Feels like everyone's given up, you know? I've just been spending more and more time in the star field. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really going back. I can always use another follower. Yeah? You know, that's actually kind of tempting. I'd have to settle some things back on Sidonia. Maybe hit me up there later. If you don't mind, we came here for something. That strange object you found. Right. Hey, it's yours. Appreciate the rescue. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the artifact. Oh, so he's not actually using the hood hood ornament. Are those considered to be the hood of the ship? I thought it was gonna be on the outside. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. It's probably a good thing it it wasn't on the outside. Well, that was fun. Now what? Just docking and undocking uh, is really awesome the way they designed it. it it's really awesome. Looking. Hey, we didn't get that vision from touching the the artifact. Why didn't we get the, the, the vision this time? We got the last time, why not this time? Must be like a force time only type thing. We're back at Constellation, and uh, we're gonna add the fourth part of the artifact. <laughs> yeah, it fits. The energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new, Shadow? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here, you've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. I expect a champagne for a party. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back.
you actually, Sarah actually does a pretty decent job at combat. She's pretty good in combat, so. Yeah, you can keep following me. That's uh, really helpful. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. I'm doing the eye is like some kind of space station flat at me. I want to meet flat at Getting all. We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. What should I do first? It's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. Who's Sam Co? Mm, the ex expedition? What's that about? Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, mm, I'll never hear the end of it. Let's Maybe go talk time. to him. I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. Well, this does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Speaking of family, are you two related? No. Funny story, caught this one stealing my ship. Only reason I didn't turn her in is because we have the same last name. Dad. All right. That's my one. I'm assuming he was joking. <laughs> He's a for dead. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Goriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Glad to see someone a young taking interest. In it helps to have a good teacher. Dad, don't let it go to your head. Sam. <laughs> Not let it go to his head. <laughs> Impossible. A compliment from little Cora. Well, it's not even my birthday. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Nope. I feel the same. You know, I always get antsy planet side. The three of us are heading to Aquila for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Let's hit out later. It hurts. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. Hey. 
Yes. Sure, go ahead. My parents considered themselves to be enlightened, but their lives were so busy they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything, it's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the starfield, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. That's we cool. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> A ridiculous name, I know, but uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. So it was actually pretty cool. I'll be here. So long. Your father dropped by. He left a note for you. Here. Huh? That's got a note from my father. If you stop by home, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Nothing urgent. So I'd sure like to see you. Um uh, how do I... Uh, how do I know where uh, home is? Honestly, I have no idea where home is. I really don't know. It didn't say in the note. Um, there's a three year new main first lines for just about. I'm gonna go talk to Vladimir first, and then I'm gonna head back to Terra to get uh, Baron. I'm gonna end the video right now. We'll start up exactly where we left off in the next one. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have an amazing day.